Ronnie Biggs played only a minor role in the Great Train Robbery of 1963, but he earned himself a place in history when he broke out of jail to begin a new life on the run. The £2.6 million robbery at Leadburn in Buckinghamshire left train driver Jack Mills with a serious head injury and resulted in a 30-year sentence for Biggs. But 15 months later, he undertook a daring escape from London's Wandsworth prison. Biggs fled to Brazil but was incapable of keeping a low profile and in 1974 came close to being extradited to Britain. Then he had a son by his girlfriend and under Brazilian law he was safe. There was another narrow escape when he was kidnapped by bounty hunters but once again he emerged triumphant. I don't regret the fact that I was involved in the train robbery and uh, as a matter of fact I'm quite pleased with the, the idea that I was involved in it. Why? Well, because it's given me a little, a little place in history, shall we say. You know, I've, I've made a mark for myself. My poor old daddy used to say to me, I know you'll, you'll make good one day, you know. But I made good in a curious way, I suppose, you know. I mean, I became infamous. Gregarious and popular, Biggs made a living by exploiting his notoriety. But in the late 90s, three strokes left him frail. He finally returned to Britain for medical treatment and the jail sentence he had evaded for so long. He was denied parole, but when it became clear that he was unlikely to recover, Biggs was released from jail on compassionate grounds. My father shook hands with all the prison guards and as they all said goodbye, he just went go away. So, it, you know, it was a pretty special moment. Ronnie Biggs, one of Britain's most infamous criminals, was never publicly repentant about his crime. Even so, after half a lifetime in exile, he was granted his last wish to die at home.